Hi guys, I'm out on a beautiful day. It's incredible. I mean, it's sunny, it's warm at plus one degrees centigrade. It's an amazing day. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get on with the hunt and see what we find. Bye for now. Well, not much of a start, but one thing I always find in this field is buttons. I won't film them all, but there's always plenty of them. Yeah, they're not a great signal, a lot of them, so I think the other detectorists sort of ignore them, maybe. But anyway, cool. Moving on. Well, this place really is incredible with the view here. The beautiful blue sky. I am very, very lucky. Quite a lot of shooting in the background, so it's an interesting sound effects i think i found my first coin um yeah we have definitely okay half penny i would guess victoria young victoria so that'll be a bit crusty on the back by the feels of it um, Let's have a look. 1864, I think it is. Yeah, it is. 1864. Okay. I'm happy with that. Always nice to find a coin when you're out hunting. Cool. Moving on. Well, I just hit a 70s signal but it was a very strange sort of tone on it and I've had a quick look at it but <laughs> no idea what this thing is it's um yeah got a shape to it Roman bottle opener maybe yeah mm, don't think so Rudolph's reindeer uh, the antlers? Um, no, probably also not. Okay, I have no idea. Answers on a postcard. If you know, post below. Moving on. Well, ringing up an 82 on a dais is that. Now, that could be a part of whatever it was I found uh, a couple of holes ago, or one hole ago, or whatever. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I'll take a look and see if the two somehow marry up. Moving on. Well, I promise I won't show all the buttons that I'm digging, but look at that one. It's got a great design. I'll have to clean it up, but um, it's kind of a beautiful button. Obviously, it was silver washed at some point. Maybe even a bit of gold wash there somewhere. Okay. Very cool. Moving on. Muas Tubus Rex. Gotta love finding them. They always give such a great signal. Well, I had a target up in the 80s. And I don't know what on earth that is. Coin or button. Mm. Mm, it's thicker than I was expecting. Shank button. Okay. Big old overcoat type button. Cool. Moving on. Well, how about that for a view? I mean, it really doesn't get much better than this. It's an incredible day. Sunny, it's warm. Ish. I think it's plus six or seven. And I've come up, I was lower down in this field. I, I, they've given me permission to do this higher field. And my first signal, it was, I just caught it. It was like a very like that it was just 
wispy signal but it's down here and I think I have to take my glove off for that could be a button of course That's not a button, I don't think. Oh, it's crumbling. Look at that. The edge is going. Okay, I don't mess with that. Um, that could be a coin. Um, yeah, it's falling apart. Uh, such a shame, but I'll, I'll put that carefully away. I suspect... Well, I mean, that's thick. Uh, I guess some kind of Roman coin, but uh, not entirely sure. Move it on. Boxing Day in Paradise. Well, as I'm up in this top part of the farm with this view that is just well, unbelievable really um, is a button now I've put it into relic mode just to see if there are any deeper targets and I managed to pick up that signal it looks like a building on that button I guess it's some kind of livery button shank is uh, bent over yeah, it was silver washed at some point, so I'll clean it up and we'll take a look at it. Moving on. Oh, just, yeah, as a pointer, down in the lower field, targets everywhere. Up here, you walk a long way without a target. It's, you know, just one field to the next field, total difference. But anyway, moving on. Well, I just had a lovely high signal. You can see the imprint of it. It's another pocket watch winder. Sorry about any wind noise. Yeah, almost complete with the loop on the back there. Yeah, that's what it is. A little pocket watch winder. Winding on. Okay, I had a jumpy 50 60 signal. Coin or button. Uh, let me get that in the sunshine. I don't know if that helps or makes it worse. Button. Feel the shank there. Okay. Well, worth a try. <laughs> Moving on. Let's try this game again. Coin or button. Let's see if we can. A little bit of sunshine, but not much watery sunshine. Coin or button. Still don't know. Hmm. I think that's a crusty coin. Okay. Doesn't seem to be a shank on it, but I'm wiping mud on as much as I'm wiping it off, I think. Yeah, very crusty coin. Too small, I think, to be a half penny. But, um, yeah, another coin for today. Very cool. Clean that up and have a look at it later. Well, that's a curious find about, I don't know, five inches down. It was a 48 signal. Now, a lot of these 40 signals are, are trash. And I guess this is not much difference, but it's a coin of some description. Oh, I think it's a little, I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's, um, I'm going to shut up. It's a coin. Let's just say it's a coin. 48, a little bit of a weird number. 
yeah I think that's a um, three pence or six pence something like that but non silver I would guess later one but still happy with that moving on well I just had a strong 79 signal Coin or button? Hmm. Button would be my guess, but... Hmm. Actually, it might be a coin. Um, but, I mean, I can't feel a shank. Can't see anything on it, so it might be a King Dave. But, um, yeah, it's... I don't know, something strange about the shape for me, but um, yeah, perhaps it's a coin. Cool. Moving on. Okay, I don't know what's just happened. I came along, got this screaming 90 signal. It's like 95, 94. I thought, it's got to be trash. It's got to be trash. Like a can or a can lid or something like that. And then I saw it, I saw the edge of it, and I thought, yeah, big piece of aluminium. Got to be a big piece of aluminium. <clears throat> but I don't know what that is. Is that rubbish? What on earth is that? A little bit of water here, so I can just rinse it off a little bit. Mm. Sorry guys, don't want to lose you from the frame of the picture. I can help it, but not always very good with this camera work stuff. That's heavy. You know, this is muddy water, so it's not really helping me, I guess. So perhaps I have to... Oh, sorry, you're not in the picture. I'm sorry, not my best day today. Hmm. Okay. Um... Well, I can read the letters from the back here. O M M E R. Omer. So this is obviously a, a bent up thing. Bent up thing, yeah, that helps. Um, perhaps I can straighten it out a little bit. It's been bashed by the plow a few times, I can see. But I have no idea what that is. Okay. Curious. Moving on. Well, I just had an 80s signal come up. And um, I'm pretty sure that's a military button. I will have to clean that up. It's a three piece. So, um, yeah. I'm hoping it's got the unicorn and the, the lion on it, but we'll see later. Moving on. Well, that looks a bit dark over there. Perhaps I won't stay out much longer. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, that's probably one of my last finds for today. It's a bag seal of some description, I think. Could also be a farmer's token, but I'm pretty sure that's a bag seal. Very cool. Always happy with those. I really appreciate you guys following my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Probably the wrap up next, unless I find something in the short distance back to the car. Well, how about that for um, a day of finds? I really love this permission. I'm looking forward to coming back. 
as soon as possible. There's always a lot to find here. I mean, buttons. Um, this came up at some point and I thought, mm, you know, it doesn't feel quite right to be a coin. Sorry, I don't know if I'm, doesn't really want to focus properly. And, um, you know, it's smooth. And I realized that it's, it's not quite right somehow. And there you can see where there would have been a shank. So it's not a coin, it is a button. Um, lead, um, back seal, always nice to find, not much detail on that. This is what I thought it was. Let's hope I can get it in, there we go. You just about make out the unicorn and the lion. It's a cool general service, military button. So I'm very happy with that. I like to find those. I know some people find loads of them on their button, but um, I don't find it very often. Another button, a very cool button, which would have had silver plating on the inside, which is mostly there. And then a little bit of gold plating on the outside. You can still see it on the back of it. So that would have been quite something um, as a button. Um, big old overcoat button. Um, more buttons, bits and pieces, lead. These are interesting. I don't know. I have no idea what that can be off. They don't fit together, but I mean, they are very cool finds, both of them. Um, I have absolutely no idea. So if any of you guys know, please let me know. And that's another button. Um, don't know what that is, whether there's some detail on it, whether it's a lid off something, probably a lid. Piece of a harmonica reed, bits and bobs, a little bit of lead. This is a mystery item. I, I think I didn't film finding this, which is a shame actually. Um, I don't know if you can tell by the there's ripples on the top of this. It's crudely made. I think it's actually quite old and I have no idea what it's off. Um, some kind of horsey thingy, but it's very cool. So if you guys know, let me know. Piece of lead, an interesting item, 19. What is it? 1914 written on it with a, a letter G, G1914. Don't know exactly what that is. Could be an animal ring, I guess. Pocket watch winder, which is always great to find. Sorry, I'm going as quickly as I can. Some head of a nail, I think it is. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's obviously folded up. Coins. A, mm, come on. Can just about make out the details on that, although not very clearly. And then you get the 1864 on it. So it's um, Queen Victoria. Um a possible Roman coin, but there's nothing on that and it's totally brittle. So I have no idea what that is. A um, King Dave, <laughs> a crusty um, coin that uh, we can't make anything out on. A modern coin. Yeah, I can't really see the details on that, but it's a, a, a sixpence, I believe. Um, 1960-something. I wish my camera would focus on that, but um, yeah, still cool. And I think that's about it, except for this. Now, what on earth is this thing? It's obviously had some pretty heavy silver plating over it or um something like that 
I mean, it's comma, as you can see. I could only see the omma before, but I can see the stylized C. So it's comma. Now I know there's comma vans and comma vehicles of various kinds, but I mean, this thing, it's quite impressive. I don't ever remember seeing anything like that on a comma. So I don't actually know what that can be off. If any of you guys recognize that and can say, oh, that's off a um, comma something, you know, perhaps there was a comma tractor also that I don't know about. But that's a very fancy thing to be putting on a vehicle. But anyway, a very, very cool find. Sorry, wrap up's been long for this one, but there was a lot of stuff that I found. And that was uh, also slightly weird find. Don't know. It's a bit like somebody shot it. But not sure about that one. Anyway, I think that's pretty much covered everything. Obviously, there are lots of random bits and bobs, unidentifiable things. And that magnificent thing, whatever it is. Thank you very much for watching to the end of my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you on the next one. Moving on.